There is such a thing called conscious consciousness. In terms of consciousness. In terms of consciousness. What consciousness is. The Mind Science Foundation podcast. This is Grace. She's two. She's hanging out with her Aunt Kelly. And this running thing, she's got it down. But... What do you have there, Grace? You trying to zip it? Help. You can help. Can you say help, please, Auntie? Help. Zippers, not quite there yet. At New York University, Karen Adolph studies the way infants and toddlers pick up motor skills. And these skills are so basic to everything that we do, every way that we get information about the world that people tend to take it for granted, unless you're a parent watching your baby do it for the first time. <laughs> Adolf says the way researchers think about infant movement, it's changed a lot in the past few decades. The famous pioneers from the olden days described motor development as a series of stages, beginning with the baby laying on its belly with its face in the carpet <laughs> and ending with your kid running across the living room floor. Sitting leads to crawling, and crawling leads to walking, and so on. Totally makes sense to me. But Adolf's found that's just not the case. Earlier developing skills, like, say, sitting, it doesn't help babies when they begin crawling, or crawling doesn't help babies when they begin walking. Adolf realized this by studying a large group of babies over time. She had them navigate over different slopes. They learned pretty quick which slopes were too steep to even bother crawling over. But when the experienced crawlers, who have been showing us for weeks that they can distinguish a safe from a risky slope, stand up and face those same slopes now as walkers, they walk right over the edge of every slope all over again. Is it hard not to be like, man, like... (laughs) <laughs> babies are kind of dumb. Like you're, I realize you're not saying babies yeah, are dumb. Yeah. Well, but like, what's I mean, we've away? also studied adults learning new skills like brachiation, which is where you move on your arms on monkey bars. For most adults, they have not brachiated maybe ever, or at least since they were, you know, in grade school. Adolf asked the adults to judge how far they could swing their arms, and they had no idea of their limits on monkey bars. So I don't think that babies are stupid. It's not that anyone is stupid. Why should you know your abilities in a brand new action system where you're still figuring out what are the critical things here that I need to control and how do I tweak them and recalibrate them? Adolf says the crawling to walking thing, it's actually something that's just developed in our culture. And some cultures do not value crawling and don't encourage their babies to crawl. Many babies bum shuffle where they scoot around in a sitting position. She says other ways of getting around used to be a lot more common. In the olden days, like 1900, most middle class infants in America log rolled. So they would roll, you know, with their body outstretched. And so more babies did that than crawled. And it's so much slower. Well, they wore these long christening gowns, and so if they tried to crawl, their legs would get bobbled up in the gowns. Grace, the two-year-old from earlier, her mom told me that she and her twin sister Lola used to log world too. Yeah, I remember that. We had a small apartment in Chelsea when they were little, so there wasn't a lot of room for them to roll. (laughs) We had to move the furniture around so that they could could do it. Oh, you came back with your your bag? What do you have there? I had no idea what she just said. And then she started running again. They're funny when they run because they have such different styles. Grace runs with one arm like tucked into her side. And then Lola runs. She's very scampery when she runs. It's all kind of (laughs) helter-skelter. But Adolf says this erratic moving around, it's totally normal. And there's nothing parents really should do to discourage it. Babies are not very concerned with efficiency for the first several months of acquiring a new skill. They're not trying to maximize all the forces and, you know, they just want to move. They move because they can and they move a lot. For the Mind Science Foundation podcast, I'm Audrey Quinn.